Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we're gonna to be eating shawarma. A giant, giant, giant shawarma plate, guys, featuring some shawarma wrap thingy things, some shawarma beef, some shawarma chicken, all in a bed of rice. I'll tell you all about it. So today we're in San Antonio, Texas, outside a place called El Camino. So this is like, it's right there. I'm doing it in here because they got some music blasting. It is a uh, food truck kind of area. And so today we're at the Pita Chick. Yes, the Pita Chick, which is a fresh Mediterranean cuisine food truck. I'm specializing in pretty much like shawarmas, hummus, all that good stuff. So for today's challenge, we are gonna have one hour, yes, one hour to eat what is apparently labeled Texas's biggest shawarma plate. So I know it has a number of their chicken bites, which are like a wrap of some sort. Then it has like, a, like I said, a whole bunch of rice. Um, the whole bunch of chicken, the beef. I think they have kebab on there as well. Uh, long story short, I'm gonna get you the specific information, but we're in the quest for the free meal. The $100 free plate, um, this is huge. But I love Mediterranean cuisine, guys. I love this style of uh, food. It's just so fresh, so flavorful, and I love all that. So that, guys, let's uh, head on out. Let's go see what we can do. Let's have some fun, and let's go eat some food. All right, so here we are with the challenge. Absolutely insane, but what a better way to celebrate shawarma day. Like, this is massive, guys. So we have basically the biggest shawarma plate I've ever seen in my life, featuring not only their shawarma bite, which is actually on a tortilla versus a pita, but this is done in the more like traditional wrap way. We have just pretty much the lovely, lovely, lovely marinated chicken. We have their garlic sauce, and then we have all the meats around here featuring brand new kebabs. These things are absolutely massive. We have their beef, we have their chicken, we have roasted almonds all around it. We have some tabbouleh. I got some pickles, some onions, some tomatoes. We have all their sauces up on top as well, such as the tahini, the garlic sauce, and their hot sauce, which is called shetta. There you go, guys. I tried to get the pronunciations, but I can't. But anyway, it looks fantastic. This is absolutely insane. It is all on a large bed of rice. And uh, we got parsley on top and all that good stuff. Um, oh, and peppers. These are very delicious. So and that, guys, that's pretty much it. I think it's all details. So let's get started here just momentarily. Where to start, actually? Uh, maybe I'll start with some tabbouleh. Oh, by the way, Big Spoon, guys. Shout out to Big Spoon. I always appreciate when we get the hookup. Anyway, let's say uh, three, two, one. Let's eat. Thank you. Mm. Delicious. Very, very flavorful. And I love that. A lot of flavors. Jabuli's great. We've never had it. It's like kind of like a marinated salad. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are here in San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas, the beautiful city of San Antonio, which if you're not familiar, is just a bit kind of south of Austin, but they kind of call it the Central Texas area. So here we are taking on this giant shawarma challenge for shawarma day. Delicious. Always eat your vegetables, kids. That's the one thing I do that you can do. Eat your vegetables first. Some tomatoes. All right. But now, let's get into all this other stuff. Got so much here. Let me try the chicken just by itself. Woo! Oh yeah. Mm. There's so much flavor on that. Mm. Parsley, the almonds. Mm. Super, 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 super tender. So the Pita Chick, to celebrate National Shawarma Day, or International Shawarma Day, I should say, they offered this absolutely giant food challenge. So it just so worked out that I was in the area and was able to stop on by and give it a shot. And man, was it ever delicious, but it was huge. This was a massive tray. I mean, we had chicken, we had beef, I mean, like beef shawarma, chicken shawarma. We had their chicken bites, which were like, you know, traditional kind of shawarma wraps. We had pickles, onions, spicy peppers, everything good. Great flavors on here. That marinade though. Woo! Try this beef. Beef. And we even had kebabs. The kebabs were made with beef, um, which again are very, very, very popular in the Mediter Mediterranean cuisine. All on a lovely, lovely rice. I believe it was basmati. Um, and then again, I had like some of their hot sauces, garlic sauces, tahini sauces, all house made there for my use. Shout out to this beef. What do you guys marinate this in? 
It is a zig wrap. It is damn fire though. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, actually, actually thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Mm. I always love a shawarma. But the taste of that is fantastic. They had some really nice kind of uh, additives which they put on these dishes as well. So like on the shawarma plates, they put like almonds, for example, which was really delicious. And uh, yeah, let's just say there was a lot of flavor here. I'm a big fan of flavor and everything was just so well spiced. Duh, not spicy, but well spiced. And let's try the kebab. I'm so impressed though. I didn't even need any like the, uh, the sauces or anything. Ooh. This is a beef kebab. Really rich. And there's a spice or a flavor in it. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a really nice sweetness. The way the meats were flavored also is they were flavored through and through. So you can tell they were marinated, definitely lots of um, herbs and spices being used, uh, which I thought was a really nice addition. So it wasn't just like the little bit of the outside. And again, one thing I find with Mediterranean cuisine is it's very like, well, at least this, everything I had here, it seems very light. I think it's just kind of the herbs they use. It doesn't seem overly heavy. Um, don't get me wrong, it can be filling, especially when you are trying to eat, you know, a massive platter this big, but it doesn't, it's not heavy. It doesn't seem greasy or anything like that. So I really kind of like it for a nice day-to-day -day casual, you know, meal and or snack. And I would definitely recommend stopping on by the pita chick and giving this place a try. Um, everything I tried so far was awesome and I was definitely hoping to be able to try the rest of the items, such as the little shawarma bites in front of us there. Turn the tahini. Mm. Really nice richness. It's like sesame. Some garlic, I think. I didn't make everything here. You can definitely tell. But that everybody, that's pretty much the majority of the information. Like we said, we had 60 minutes in order to get the platter for free. Otherwise, we we're paying $100. So with that, let's tune on in and ultimately see what happens. So yeah, these are the really chicken bites. They're a little different than the uh, shawarma wrap. The shawarma wrap should be on pitas. Ooh, mm. that garlic sauce on that. Incredibly rich and creamy. Wow! How about flavor? But incredibly rich. I'm actually super surprised how rich of a bite that is. Very creamy dark sauce. I don't know if I need to, there's so much on already. But I will try the garlic sauce. Bam! Slap of flavor. I wouldn't want to kiss somebody after eating this garlic sauce, but it's very, very delicious. Momentarily, try the tahini just for fun. Mm. Still delicious. Now let's get the rest of the plate. Definitely a big one.
I just propped up this so you guys could see it better, but a little wobbly. I don't look better or worse. All right, everybody. Slowly but surely. About 20 minutes in. And if you made it to this point in the video without skipping through it, thank you so much. Let's play one of our jokes on the skippers, whereas if they just skip through the video and read the comments, they're going to have to come find this point because I want you to comment down below, ouch, did that guy have to be taken to the hospital or did that guy need an ambulance? Have fun with it. Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. You rock. I'm trying to decide what I like better, the chicken or the beef. They're both really, really good. So let me know down below what you want, which one you prefer. I don't know if I can decide. They are both so well flavored. Pepper, and I'll try to clean up the little bits of rice, but I think it's probably about as good as I'll get with the paper. Those are spicy though. Woo! Wrap mill. What do you say? Is that dumb? And we are finished. Woo. Thank you, thank you. Alright, everybody, somewhere around uh, 25 and a half minutes. You guys, on the exact time on screen. Holy crap! Woo, that was a lot of food, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot of shawarma. And those yellow peppers were surprisingly spicy. Normally when I do volume and spice, it doesn't mix very well. Admittedly, they're a lot spicier than I anticipated. But, great addition. And I would love to eat probably a whole handful of those peppers if I had a normal size portion, which you should definitely try. Delicious platter. Those bites were amazing. I'm sure their pitas are absolutely fantastic. Well, I like the wraps. The kebabs are new and I really, really like them. Great flavor on them. This is a beautiful seasoning with those like warm kind of Middle Eastern spices through and through. Maybe some parsley or something that just also keeping it really nice and fresh. I can say the exact same for the beef and the chicken. Amazing flavors, super, super tender. I was very, very impressed with that. The sauces are great as well. I used a lot of the hot sauce. I didn't use as much of the garlic sauce, the tahini sauce, and watch my calories. 
but they are very, 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 very good. And I got no complaints. Arguably, I probably would have used like five of these should I have wanted to. That being said, guys, huge thanks to the Pete the Chick herself. Huge thanks to everybody here, guys. Absolutely love this. This is super cool. This is in the uh, El Camino, is that what they call it? Right. The El Camino, the food truck area, guys. San Antonio. Do you ever stop and buy? I love that. Seriously, I would say just try like either those uh, chicken bites or one of the uh, wraps or the plate. You, you just can't go wrong. I loved it. I The only thing I wish is that probably I could continue, continue to eat more. But, <clears throat> excuse me, that was a lot of food. Much bigger than I anticipated. I think it was what, five orders of bites. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Here's all the air. Here's my complimenting the chef. <laughs> Somewhere in a culture, that's what it means. Um, then I don't know however many, you know, combo plates. Plate, yeah, plates. That was a lot. I think it was, we had the equivalent of 10 times the meat, whatever else. So, anyway, delicious. So, that everyone, we do the meal free. It's pretty cool. Um, we did beat this crazy shawarma challenge on National Shawarma Day. And uh, that's about that, guys. Hope you enjoy. Of course, the next time, happy all the hungry, happy eating. Definitely come by, try a plate or a wrap. Don't try to replicate what I do. Just don't do it. You don't need to. I eat it, so you don't have to. But that's it. So, until next time, appreciate you guys. And uh, at that, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, have a lovely day. So that's it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.